on Government officials insist that this is an isolated incident. Welcome, Ms. Hanon Germa. Welcome Thank back you. home to Newark Museum. Welcome back to Newark. Uh, Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking the time out to, to have this conversation. Of course. Yeah. Um, you were last at uh, New York Museum in 2017, correct? That is correct, yes. Can you, can you talk to me a little bit about what you were doing then? Sure. I, was, um, I came on as a research associate specifically for this uh, collection, for the Arts of Global Africa collection that I'm now associate curator for. And at the time I was working under the senior curator, her name is uh, Dr. Krista Clark. She, um, I was reporting to her and was her research assistant. And I specifically, most notably, I worked on the reinstallation of the current uh, Arts of Global Africa gallery at the museum um, and it's accompanying um, catalog. I worked on that as well. Can you, can you unpack for me uh, just briefly the term global Africa? What is it that you mean by that? What does the North Museum of Art mean when they reference global Africa? Sure. Um, global Africa, um, it, it's to say that the collection is comprehensive. It includes contemporary art as well as historic, uh, and it covers geographically uh, a good number of not all 54 countries, but a good number of the countries. It also covers the diaspora, yeah. typically uh, museums. Um, focus on historic art um, and focus, uh, there's a lot of focus given to West African art, but uh, the Newark Museum's um, African art collection is quite comprehensive. So that's, that's what it means. And it also, um, it's also to point out the interconnectedness of Africa um, to the rest of the world and that it's not um, a hermetically sealed entity that you know doesn't engage with the rest of the world. Right. It influences the rest of the world and the world is influenced by Africa. So that's what global Africa means. Oh, I do want to talk a little bit just about your work as a curator. Yes. Uh, Newark, as you know, is a very art forward city, a uh, good number of art galleries and museums and, and universities and other, you know, art and culture institutions throughout the city. Um, so the term of a curator is not foreign uh, to us, but can you talk a little bit more in depth uh, in terms of what it is that uh, you're doing as, an, as a curator? The making of exhibitions is a big part of it, uh, but also it's really caring for the collection. Um, it's the stewarding of a collection, making sure that um, the collection is protected and as well as promoted. Um, but I think uh, the biggest part of it is making exhibitions, oversee loans, um, if another exhibition uh, requests um, to borrow objects, you, you would give your recommendation. You um, uh, would also uh, incoming exhibitions as well, or loans as well, um, you know, to request objects for your exhibitions would be part of it. Acquisitions, uh, artworks, objects being um, bought by the museum. Yeah. Uh, I would make my suggestions on what to acquire and, um, you know, give my recommendations and yeah. so forth. So that's all part of uh, curators. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, what uh, what isn't being seen per se. So, for example, you know, it, with your particular history, you know, uh, you spend a good amount of time uh, in research. And research, yes. There's a, there is a depth to your familiarity with a collection or an artist or, or you know, or, uh, a 
genre of, of art that um, doesn't get seen in the exhibit. You know, you see, you understand and, and have a familiarity at a much deeper level as the curator. Um, and you have a so much uh, more nuanced appreciation, uh, I would imagine, of uh, the context of the exhibit. Uh, yes. So selecting what pieces are actually going to be shown, but you also know why those pieces were chosen and where there is commonality, where there is a narrative and what that narrative speaks to um, that um, folks who are visiting the museum just for the beauty and, and you know, an appreciation of uh, the, the visual exhibition might not quite connect with. How do you kind of close that gap if, if it's possible? Yes. Um, well, there is um, close work that the uh, curator does with the education and interpretive part of the museum, department of the museum. So there's a lot of co collaboration and listening to that department on how to convey these um, ideas to the public. And uh, the public doesn't necessarily have to um, take away everything that I, <laughs> you know, that I intend uh, for them to take away. You, you know, it could be just enjoyed for for the sake of enjoyment. That's uh, perfectly fine. And uh, but but there's close work with the education department to to um, facilitate you know accessibility and you know um, understanding of concepts and ideas behind the artwork and exhibition what what is it or what was it about newark museum of art that was or or this particular role that was especially attractive to you yes uh, so by my previous um my previous work in the department, uh, it was quite educational. My background is is quite unique for a curator. Typically curators are art historians, uh, have art history um, degrees and, um, and that, that's not my background. It's, uh, it's quite different. Um, so, my previous experience uh, working at the Newark Museum and working uh, specifically with this collection and the opportunity to to be a curator in a in a museum setting was quite um, attractive and I was I appreciated the opportunity I was given to to apply for it and uh, yeah yeah um are, are there any things that you want to talk about that you are particularly excited about moving into the future? Any, anything at all? Uh, you mean specifically at the museum? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, I'm uh, quite excited um, about uh, creating uh, exhibitions. Um, but there is a section of the museum called the uh, Global Contemporary, where um, contemporary artists are invited to respond to the collection, to any part of the museum's collection. I, I'm excited to work on that. Um, the Ballantine House is uh, being re renovated and um, reinstalled so um, there is going to be an opportunity for all parts of the curatorial department to work on that collaboratively so I'm quite uh, excited and looking forward to that. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, getting a chance to talk to you and to meet thank, you. Thank you. I appreciate you inviting me. I hope I hope this was a good. I was telling Alexa this is actually my first time ever being interviewed uh, and Excellent. talking to press. So okay. I was a little bit nervous, but I guess it worked out. Yeah, definitely, and, I, and I'm sure I'm going to want to do it again as as collections come together and are exhibited and whatnot. Uh, yes, yeah, that would be that would be great.